So what are the causes of a retinal vein occlusion? The highest risk factors lie with abnormalities of blood pressure, so hypertension, or abnormalities of raised cholesterol. And these are important risk factors to test for and modify. Under certain circumstances, there are other conditions that are associated with a retinal vein occlusion. For example, a woman who has an increased number of miscarriages may actually have abnormalities of clotting. That becomes evident with the vein occlusion later in life. Conditions such as thyroid diseases can increase the risk of a vein occlusion. And vein occlusions are more common in patients with glaucoma. Another risk factor for vein occlusion is an association with a disease called myeloma, which is a blood cancer. Now in the past, we used to test for this routinely as ophthalmologists with what we call serum electrophoresis test, but that is no longer necessary as part of a routine test unless there are specific indications to suggest, for example, severe back pain or other features of a myeloma disease being present. So if someone were to modify their risks, the main things to take care of are blood pressure and cholesterol, and we make sure that their eye pressure is within the normal range.